uh, things of that nature. So if you're if you're an 80s kid, if you're a 70s kid, if you remember the heyday of the neighborhood arcade, I think this is going to be for you. And now that we're all grown up, again, I'll use air quotes, or we're all grown up, quote unquote, not only can you enjoy those retro video games, but there can be a little libations involved. Of course, my concern is when is the first time that someone gets drunk and smashes up a beautiful pinball machine? I know in my past I saw someone drunkenly playing the golden tea and just smash their face <laughs> right into the golden tea. But I digress. Let's get back to the music, and I'll talk to you in a little bit about the other business I was out supporting this week. I know you may be surprised that it was food related. We'll get, we'll get to that in a bit. Before that, we're going to hear from the sweet release. Here's Whether or Not, right here on The Tony Jones Show. And the dog married with two kids, but only if you're straight enough to fake it. We were smoking a lot of nonsense over a while. Make a fence, make a spider, the dollars, get six, laugh it off, resistance. I'm a man, take away from bankruptcy, and a one man, take away from the street. Spend 25k on a resident degree, make a living as an hour to a dead end street. Whoa! They said they'd never be American. 
quite what it seemed. Raising our ass is for the death of the American dream. Designed over time to inflict debt and drive his ass rivalry with benefits and lots of stuff to watch on TV. I'm not my credit rating, my industry's creating. Let's see them run and walk into the side of our awakening. I'm a paycheck away from bankruptcy. Thompson's Beat, the name of that one, some Down City Armory right here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, we heard from the reigning 90.7 WXIN Rhode Island College Rock Hunt winners. We heard from the sweet release, whether or not, the name of that one, facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show, at Tony Jones in RI on Twitter. Of course, I ask you to check out TonyJones.org and RI Free Radio. Dot org out supporting some local businesses this week, and I had the chance to attend my first ever ribbon cutting, and that was for Say Cheese, which is in Providence. And if you can imagine, the restaurant involves all things cheese, so grilled cheese, uh, just decadent macaroni and cheese. Is great, it's going to be a great spot. It's a little spot, and smart folks here. They're they're deep in the heart of the financial district, so they'll be serving lunch. Then they're going to take some time off. And then on Friday and Saturday nights, they're going to open back up. Check this out. From 10.30 p.m. until about 3 o'clock in the morning, and they're going to hit up that late-night crowd. Now, a lot, of, a lot of places have closed down that catered to that late-night crowd in Providence. You used to be able to get some Spikes Junkyard dogs late at night. Not anymore. You used to be able to, a place that I pretty much lived in, I could have taken my mail in, Bickford's back in the day. That's no more. So I think that Say Cheese really is going to uh, kind of ease into an area where, first of all, for everybody's safety, folks aren't going to have to drive out of the city before they eat. And they're in a great location. You, ha- you kind of, depending on the parking situation, you may have to walk right by Say Cheese. Now imagine you just got out of the, a bar or a nightclub, you're walking to your car and you just smell macaroni and cheese or a fresh grilled cheese just kind of wafting out of this small restaurant, kind of like the old cartoons where a pie would be cooling on the windowsill and the smell smoke finger would come out and draw the person (laughs) over to the pie. But uh, that was my first ever ribbon cutting, and that was great. And it was kind of like a weird like midday time. You know, it was like it was either Tuesday or Wednesday this week, and it was in the afternoon, and the place was packed. The press was there. We saw uh, Jim Nellis from Rhode Island Food Fights. Folks from Go Local Prov were there. Uh, Mayor Alorza of, of Providence was there. So it's great to see. We possibly may be on the recovery, but I digress. Let's go back to, as I mentioned at the top of the hour, the band that was in studio with us last broadcast. We're going to have a double shot of 30 Silver right here on the Tony Jones Show, starting off with Dark and Sinister Man, have it thee.
Ready now.